Well, good hump day afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's got having a great, great hump day, and I hope all your hump day dreams come true. So we've got the Dan Celia show. We'll be on at 4:30 today, and it's it's definitely going to be a lot easier than what I thought it was going to be after Sunday's loss. The fact that the Eagles collapse makes things a little bit better. Uh, at least I've got some ammunition to go back at them with, so it won't be just the beat down on Mark Holmes and the Dallas Cowboys. But this is still. You know, I keep cautioning people that you don't really know what teams are what at this time of year. That the first month of the season, September, it can fake you out. Don't get too excited by what you see. You know, if your team's jumped out to 2-0 start, don't be too worried if your team started out in a 0-2 start. So... You really don't know till October about what teams really are. So we've seen Jekyll and Hyde with the Cowboys and things. And, you know, I'm not sure that the Baltimore Ravens are a bad team, and I'm not sure that the Minnesota Vikings are a good team. We'll need some more time to figure it out because most teams, it's really like preseason right now. But there's an article it was on Bleacher Report today by Brad Gagnon who has gone through with nine surprising stats from the first week of the 2024 season. And I doubt that these things are all going to hold up. But here's where it's funny. I, I want to go through these because it's been kind of crazy. So, so far, and we've witnessed this ourselves, New Orleans Saints have the second most uh, point, excuse me, the second most at the two-week mark point of points in the history of the NFL. The only team that's had more is the 2009 Saints with 93 and Drew Brees. So you kind of look at that and say, wow, you know, is that going to be where we are for the whole season? And Derek Carr's had a 142 passer rating. Now, I doubt that. Now, now don't get me wrong, because New Orleans is definitely a good team. But I doubt that Derek Carr is going to have a 142 passer rating to carry the whole season. I just don't. Um, this is another one that's kind of crazy. So, win-loss record, 0-8. You got Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Matthew Stafford, and Trevor Lawrence. That none of those teams have a win. Let me say it again. Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, Matthew Stafford, and Trevor Lawrence. None of them have a victory thus far this season. So you got Baltimore, of course, coming to Dallas, where we're one and one and one, and Baltimore's zero and two, and I believe Baltimore's favored in that game. So you know, with my bet U.S. and uh, account, I was talking to my dad this morning, and um, I said I'll be more than happy to take the points with the Cowboys at home. Um, on the flip side of this, okay, so we've got the premier quarterbacks, the guys that have been paid, win loss record for. Um, New Orleans with, with Carr, Baker Mayfield with Tampa Bay, Sam Darnold with Minnesota, and Justin Fields with the Steelers is 8-0. Tell me if you saw that one coming, because Justin Fields, nobody thought he was going to start over Russell Wilson. Sam Darnold, pfft, he got the starting job because, well, his quarterback, the rookie, got injured. Baker Mayfield, of course, has resurrected his career, and Cleveland wants him back. And then there's Derek Carr, who, you know, I, I've, I'll be the first one to admit, I've thrown shade on him. So that's kind of interesting to see the flip side of where we are. This one is really kind of crazy because people will talk about Dak Prescott, you know, getting paid and everything else and how much wasted money it is. Three qualified quarterbacks have a bad throw rate above this mark, okay? This is Trevor Lawrence with 26%. Bad throws. And that's defined as throws that are just bad, okay? That's right. The three most recent number one overall picks that I position. Bryce Young, Clive Williams, and Trevor Lawrence. That's pretty bad. You got Bryce Young, who's at 28.3. Clive Williams at 27.9. And Trevor Lawrence at 27.1. So... And the definition of uh, bad throws were they weren't uh, catchable with normal effort. Okay. This is another one that's kind of like a shocker. 
3.0 yards per play this season for the Chicago Bears, which is dead last. Three yards per play. Williams, one of the most overall picks of the century, is averaging just 1.3 completed air yards per attempt. 1.3 yards. Are you kidding me? That's the worst by far of any quarterback. 27.3. Detroit Lions success rate in the red zone. That's not good. So that's like, literally, you get in the red zone four times, you're only successful once. The Lions uh, success rate in the end in the red zone, which makes them just six teams below thirty percent. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Ten. Ten drop passes for Deshaun Watson. So maybe Deshaun Watson isn't as bad as we have made it out to seem. And Matthew Stafford is second with six. So there you have that. Now this one is the one. That's like, yeah, this isn't going to hold up. You know, this is, and if you remember back some years ago, I remember um, the Arizona Cardinals starting a season 4-0, and and they were so hyped up. Man, this team's going to the Super Bowl and everything, yada, yada, yada. And they proceeded not to win another game the rest of the season. They went 4-12, and 4-12. and And you can think about how the season started last year, the Green Bay Packers, the first half of the season, looked like they were headed for a top 10 pick. They got hot going down the stretch and ended up being the seventh seed and kicking the Cowboys' teeth in. On the flip side of that, you can look at the Eagles that started out 10-1 and one and have since um, the last 11 games, the last 11 games they've had, they've lost nine of them. So, you know, this is kind of cool and interesting to see this early on, but you don't expect this to hold through, especially not this one. Baker Mayfield's near-perfect passer rating on deep passes, which tops in the NFC. Um, Mayfield is 7 of 10 with three touchdown passes and no interception on passes traveling 15 yards plus down the field, which is the big reason why he's the league's second-highest-rated uh, passer for the 2-0 Buccaneers. Who saw that coming? Meanwhile, on the other end of the spectrum is the now incredibly rich Dak Prescott, who has nearly as many interceptions, too, as completion on deep attempts, giving him a deep passer rating of 32.8 and only beats out Bo Nix and Bryce Young. Yeah, that's my quarterback there on deep throws, but we're not getting enough time and we're not getting enough separation. 43.2. So we've trashed my quarterback. Let me work on Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts passed the rating in the fourth quarter of one-score games, which ranks him only ahead of Will Levis and Anthony Richardson um, among quarterbacks with um, more than two attempts under those circumstances. Hurts and the Eagles continue to lack the killer instinct that gave them the Super Bowl two years ago. It has gone on ever since, and they merely survived the first half of the 23 season before getting caught up down the stretch. Yeah, the trend continues here with Hurts struggling when it matters the most. His 25 third down passer rating ranks him only ahead of Young's. So, yeah, there's that. Those are some crazy numbers. And it'll be nice because at least I've got the Eagles, because I've got Dan Salio this afternoon, it's where I can kind of trash him a little bit. Where I can kind of trash him a little bit. But um, don't expect these things to hold for the whole season, this is a small sample of what we got. There's no way Baker Mayfield is going to stay up there where he is. And there's no way that you look at these premier teams with quarterbacks are going to continue to be 0-8. So we'll see what we're going to see. All righty, good people. I will see you all soon. Be sure to check us out live at 430 on the Dan Salio Show. Peace.